Hey hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 2 Let's Play Pleasant View. So today in this part we are back with the Goth family, which last time we left off we found out that Dina is pregnant too. So I'm thinking that she's probably going to give birth in this part. I know we've had lots of Sims popping out, lots of babies in the past few parts that we've uploaded. But, you know, we're just raising a new generation. I'm super excited about it. I don't know if she's going to have a boy or a girl. But today, my plans, first things first, I just noticed that we probably can go ahead and get rid of this wedding stuff out here. Because um, we're already married. So, I mean, it's not like we really need the extra money. But it's just, it, it's not needed anymore, you know. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of all of that. And then I just want to, I really want to focus a little bit on Alexander. I just feel like, you know, he doesn't get a lot of star quality starring moments. And so I really want to maybe see Yvette, which is a teen he knows. And I think she's really cute. She's very, very pretty. They met when they were kids and he actually invited her home from school. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see um, if, if there is any romantic interest between those two. And also, the butler is here somewhere. Um, my plans, obviously, were to have... Where, where is our butler? Was to have Dina be, you know, there he is, a complete ho as she is you know she, we know she doesn't really truly love mortimer even though she's attracted to him and you know they're best friends forever and they're in love she just wants his money and that's just this plain simple facts okay that's that's just it so she's accomplished her goals which was to marry him so now she's got his last name so when he passes away which you know he's he's he's, he's his clock's ticking. He's almost there. She'll be left to take care of Alexander. And now it's even better because she has a goth baby. So she will be left with the estate because Cassandra's already married off. And she's kind of just giving it up to Dina. So, yeah, Alexander's kind of disappointed, you know, stepmommy from hell. <laughs> she's not very pleasant, but, you know, it is what it is. He knows that she definitely had something to do with his mom's disappearance and i do want him he is a knowledge sim um, knowledge aspiration sim right yeah so i do want him to start looking for answers for his mom and stargazing and possibly he may get abducted i don't know i just know that he really wants answers because he just he knows there's something fishy going on with Dawn and the two Caliente sisters. He is a very smart young man. But let's have him put away these leftovers and I guess have him come up here and uh, take a bath or whatever. And then we will invite over Yvette. Alright, so <laughs> I accidentally forgot. I flopped. I was planning on having Yvette meet up with Alexander at the arcade, but um, yeah, I forgot to invite her, so we're just going to have him hang out here and maybe meet some friends, which he just met somebody named Hun Thompson. Um, I've had a few people mention to me that they think that Alexander might, um, you know, be interested in men instead of women. Maybe he's just curious. He doesn't really know, so I am open to that option. Um, I'm just kind of going to let things flow as they go, but uh, Hun seems up. Uh, pretty cool. The name's interesting. Hun, you know, it's, it's a cute little nickname for short. But this is the arcade. I I don't take my Sims. Oh, he's not. He's like, dude, dude, we just met. Seriously. Okay, you're right. I'm going a little, I mean, come on now. You're being a little creepy. Uh, he doesn't have very good social skills. <laughs> but yeah, I don't take my Sims out in The Sims 2 very much. The community lots, just because uh, when you, okay, say we're out until about like 10 o'clock tonight. When we go back to home, it's going to be, you know, 10 o'clock in the evening, the same time it was when we left. And his needs are going to be way down, lower than everybody else's. And I don't know if there's a mod to fix that. Maybe y'all know of something. Y'all could let me know. But it looks like it's a little bit empty here. Um, who's this? Is this a, 
Jonathan Graham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Jonathan Graham, we're gonna come out help you come out her. Well, I can't talk. Come out here and greet him because he's a teen too. If y'all don't remember Jonathan Graham, or uh, you know that name doesn't ring a bell, that is uh, the boy that Angela uh, has been, you know, calling and hanging out with. You know, even though she's in a relationship with Dustin. Okay, well he just disappeared. Yeah. Okay, there's not a lot of people here. This place is not popping. Um, but I figured, you know, maybe this would be his scene, but, you know, maybe not. Maybe he's a little bit too nerdy for this. Um, okay, well, I mean, okay, honestly, you know, let's, let's be honest. We, arcades and games, it's, that's kind of nerdy. But he's just more intelligent. So maybe this isn't his scene. He just really wanted to... Oh, my God. That just scared the hell out of me. Maybe... He just wanted to get out of his element a little bit. But look, it's a witch. Let's come over here and greet her. Uh, I never really fooled with, like, the witches in The Sims too much. So, I really need to, like, look into that. But why not? You know, he's into all that. Look how cool. How did she do that? <laughs> but anyways, if you follow me on social media, on Twitter, you've probably seen my poll where I was like, hey, you know, in honor of uh, fall and all things spooky, how would you guys like to see a Sims 3 Let's Play of Supernatural Expansion Pack? Because I had previously mentioned and then a poll that I really wanted to do Sims 3. Who would be interested in that poll? Definitely won the majority definitely wanted to see a sims 3 lp and the majority won for supernatural so be looking forward to that uh hopefully in the next week or two right before october and we'll do like a little a little supernatural lp i think that'll be a lot of fun because i don't really know much about witches and stuff but he's trying to catch these butterflies but can we like oh he's feeling her though can we like ask her you know about being a witch or, or whatever maybe not looks oh my god you just had a cat up here it's so weird but anyways uh this is flopping my plans are flopping epically i really wanted him to meet some new people and granted he did he did oh my god y'all i can't talk somebody help me um <laughs> let's try to not hug him again um but let's come over here and i guess like just keep talking to him a little bit uh before we leave you know He's, he's realizing this is not his scene, but, you know, he's, he's gossiping about his sister and, you know, talking about how she just got married and, you know, she was left at the altar by Don Lothario. Have you heard? Uh, so let's have them, like, play kicky bag or something like that. And, yeah, if anything, you know, Hun can be his first, like, real friend because he doesn't have any friends for real. Him and uh, Dust not Dustin, I'm sorry, Dirk, are kind of close, but they're not on, like, a friendship-based level yet, um, but yeah, he does want to hang out with Yvette, too, so maybe we'll head back home in a minute and see what's going on at the house with Dina and Mortimer, and possibly try it again and invite Yvette over. All right, so Alexander is home, and he is calling Yvette over, and asking her if she wants to come over, and he said, sure, I suppose coming over couldn't hurt. See ya. Um, he doesn't have any cooking skills, does he? I was gonna say he should make lunch for them. Um, maybe, what's Mortimer doing? Up, he's like just journaling in his little diary up here. It's so strange. But anyways, let's have him come over here and use the restroom. Um, can we get the butler to cook? You know, couldn't we, like, influence him to to cook something, to, to bathe, to, to guard? No. Influence? No. Can we? I thought we could ask him to cook, but apparently not. But, you know, Mortimer likes to cook anyway, so we'll just have him come over here and make some chili. And she's taking her a nice little nap here. I don't know when she's going to give birth. It might be in the next part. Just... It just depends. Oh, wait. We really need to make sure we don't miss her. Okay, she came in. Okay, so this is Yvette. Isn't she this the cutest? Okay, let's give her some privacy. <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave me, you know, your suggestions in the comments down below. Like, do you think Yvette would be somebody that Alexander could possibly, you know, see romantically or... Like I said, maybe he's, you know, a little bit more interested in 
and boys he's a little confused he, he's not quite sure yet let me know what you think because i really do want to focus on it. alexander um i just feel like he doesn't get a lot of attention even in the sims 4 he's kind of like irrelevant but i think he has like a really cool story and we could have so much fun talking about how he is just so interested in finding out what happened to his mom and oh okay yeah definitely not interested in her okay well that answered my question y'all it really did but okay maybe maybe he does like boys that's fine i don't know let's just let's just join her go ahead just y'all can be friends that's fine let's have dina get up um i'm on a mission for her to cheat on mortimer she doesn't have any other romantic relationships at the moment i've really tried to push it with the freaking butler but he's not feeling it at all every time she tries to talk to him he's not interested at all um but maybe if we like tip him you know what i'm saying we can get on his good side i'm not really sure what else we can do i guess we could possibly just like watch the sidewalk to see if any suitors walk by but i definitely see her moving on you know before he passes away because she knows it's coming but he also y'all has this aspiration or not aspiration this wish or want whatever to be saved from death <laughs> and i'm not really sure how you do that on the sims 2 i don't remember i'm gonna have to look into it but wouldn't that be hilarious she's so ready for him to die i know that sounds like terrible but she wants to have it all you know and wouldn't that be some crap if he was saved from death <laughs> i think we should really burst her bubble and do that so i'm gonna figure out you know how to do that but i want her to check him out i want her to chat i just think it'd be really cool you know i mean not cool i guess cool is not the right word but you know the butler i mean come on she would it's just like her all right, so guess who Alexander is talking to? Hun, remember? That was his name, right? Yeah, Hun. How could I forget that name? He called him to chat. You know, I think, oh, I think I, I think something's happening here. I think there's some natural chemistry. Um, I really want to see if he's, like, attracted to him in that sense to kind of answer our question. So, can we, like, ask him to come over, even though we already have Yvette over? You know, he's just, he's just just trying to make friends uh i don't think mortimer minds maybe dina but who cares about her right so let's invite over hun and let's just can my friend come over too yeah sure why not the more the merrier anyways i just really am interested to see if there is a natural chemistry between him and hun because evidently he's not into yvette at all so thankfully the butler actually is worthy of something he, he does something right and he greeted hun and hun has decided to come on in and eat some chili so they're just chatting and talking and she's about to oh she's going outside you know the butler mentioned there was a, a gentleman lingering around she's like oh <laughs> let me handle this but she's about to go greet him and then piss on herself I think this might be a complete turn off and I mean that outfit okay oh she might can she actually might make it I think she did all right so we have like a house full or whatever but I really want to see if he's interested in hun okay so he's not interested in hun either <laughs> what's his deal maybe he just maybe he's one of those that is it just is it gonna have any kind of romantic relationship you know they're friends but maybe i was wrong i don't know y'all i'm just i'm trying to figure it out and now we got this random dude just like hanging around and she she's not even sleeping in the bed with mortimer no okay well i really want her to come down here and uh you know you know be a be a little snatch you know be a, be a little uh promiscuous here and see if we can check him out and let's see if she's attracted to him because i mean i haven't had any luck finding anybody any kind of romantic relationship on this part so far i've completely failed okay yeah i know she's not attracted to him either i think it might be his outfit is <laughs> a bit of a turn off but yeah they're all retiring for the night they're super tired so i'm gonna see y'all in the morning
Okay, so Dina is going into labor, so now we're about to find out if she's having a boy or a girl. She looks like she's in a lot of pain. Alright, so it looks like they're having a baby boy, so I think I want to name him Spencer. So we have Spencer Goth joining the family, which he is basically Dina's ticket in to basically a rich life for the rest of her life. Basically, she's, she's taken care of. And that's exactly what she wanted. But let me go ahead and get the nursery set up here real quick like. I'm not really sure if she'll be a good mom. She could surprise me, you know, and unconditionally love her son with all of her heart. I think that's just something that, you know, comes naturally with being a mother. She might be that overbearing type that just wants him to be like the perfect perfect rich little goth boy you know that's successful and makes her proud so i don't know maybe maybe she'll be a good mom but we're gonna have mortimer meet him in just a second we're gonna have her feed him and then put him in the crib i'm gonna alexander is sleeping because it's 4 a.m oh so mortimer is playing with his son which is really sweet ah <sighs> he has no idea that this was Dina's plan all along was just to completely take advantage of him and his name and his money. Ah, <sighs> so we're gonna put Spencer back in the crib. And honestly, I think this is just kind of giving Mortimer the feels. You know, yes, he's excited to have another son. Definitely somebody to carry on the goth, you know, legacy and name along with Alexander. He's very excited about it. And, you know, he actually does adore Dina, you know. She's, she's a hot young lady that has given him the time of day but I think it kind of makes him miss y you know Bella and just has him questioning you know her disappearance and he's definitely still healing from that Alexander is up early this morning, 6.30 in the morning, and he is doing a little bit of stargazing. I don't think that teens can be abducted by aliens, but I really do want him to get abducted by aliens, and I think that's what he's looking for. He definitely believes in it. He's been researching it, and like I said, he's just on a mission to find out what happened to his mom, but I do want him to come down here before we end this part and meet his little brother, um... I think that even though he absolutely cannot stand his stepmom, he thinks she's just conniving and he's completely on to her little games and knows exactly what her agenda is, that it's still his little brother, it's still his family and you know, family means everything to him and he knows that in the end, when his dad passes away, Spencer's only gonna have him to show him, you know, how to be a good person because I mean look who his mom is <laughs> so anyways yeah let's have them meet have him cuddle with him a little bit and guys I think with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up here I hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up leave all your comments and suggestions and all of that in the comments down below subscribe if you have not and with that being said I will talk to y'all later where you move, make me blind You will always be there There's no doubt in my mind You will always be there Heading out